we can create different kind of reference geometry on the mesh. Here are the reference geometry we can create, planes, vector points, polylines, and coordinate systems. Let's start with the first one, the plane. If you select plane, you have different ways of creating planes here, uh, where I can define it by extracting a plane, projection, pick points, pick points are normal, convert polygons, and, and division and different things. So here are all the different kind we can create. Let's make a simple one here uh, by just selecting by uh, uh, smart selection and I will just select those planes, those areas. I can constrain my plane if I want to, if the plane is, or well, if the part is already aligned and extract the plane. The plane is created here and this is a parametric plane. If I double click on that plane, I can modify the way it has been created. Now, if I switch to another one like vectors, vectors can be created also. Uh, I will create the vector by definition, or again, I got different ways of creating a vector. Uh, if I got some cylinders, I will add the software to find the cylinders. If I want to check the direction of uh, an extrusion axis or revolution axis, I can do it also. Here, let's make a simple vector. Uh, I will just add the software to find the cylinder axis. And I will just select that cylinder here. And let's make a preview. The software shows me here the vector or the, the vector that is created in the center of the cylinder. And OK, again, the vector is in the list here. Next, it's going to be the point. Point, uh, I can just click on the part. Again, I got different uh, options I can create here. I can find circle axis, lot axis rectangle, polygon, sphere, projection, and so on. If I want to select uh, something different or I can more make an intersection, I can add the software to make the intersection between two. Or if I want to, I can just select a point on the part here. It will extract and make the, the, the average of that point right there. And I can press preview to just select all the points. Again, the software will average all those points and OK. Next is going to be the polyline. Polyline is a different kind of, of uh, entity. It's not going to be a curve. It's just going to be a help file or help entity to create different things. Here I can just select something and, and make intersection with the mesh. So for instance, if I display my plane, so let's display here the plane that I just created before, which is plane. Uh, the plane I created before, which is plane one here. Uh, I can make from that plane a little offset. So I can click on that plane and make an offset and make it 38 millimeters here. And add the software to make a polyline by intersecting that plane with that mesh. So just click on the on the tree and intersecting those two entities we result by creating a polyline which is in my tree. The following entity we can create is a coordinate system. Create a system you can extract it or you can define it by different ways here pick multiple point, pick point line and so on. So you can create coordinate system like that in order afterwards to create alignment.